When golden potatoes meet fiery chilies, a love story begins. Get ready for a flavor explosion. Creating attractive product commercials has never been easier. In this video, we'll go through the process of transforming your own product into eye-catching images and then turning them into engaging moving visuals for your marketing promotions, all within the design platform. Click the link below, log into Design AI, and let's get started. First, let's begin by brainstorming some ideas for our commercial. In this video, I'll be using the super hot potato chip bag for demonstration because I'm craving it. And I want to highlight both the freshness of the ingredients and the whimsical, fiery aspect of the chips. I put down a few scene ideas we can create for our commercial here. If you're having trouble coming up with your own scenes, you can use this prompt on ChatGPT or any other large language model for some inspiration. At this stage, it's also important to make sure your idea align with your branding strategy, brand identity, and creative concepts. Think about the colors, imagery, and tone that best represent your brand. Later, you can adjust your image prompts accordingly to ensure consistency across all scenes so the commercial feels cohesive and instantly recognizable as your brand. Next, we will visualize our ideas into images using the text to image tool and product background tool. Keep in mind that the product background tool and image to video tool we're using today are available only with the pay plan. However, you can access all the premium features with a seven day free trial. For more information on pricing, be sure to check out their pricing page. Let's create a new project and select our desired aspect ratio. Next, we will visualize our ideas into images. Let's try to create an image with potatoes falling in mid air with a white background. For this, let's click on the text to image tool. Next, we select the style here. For this product commercial, we can select a style from the realistic category. I'm choosing the Design Realistic V1, which gives you highly realistic results. Then we input our text prompt. Here we can pick the aspect ratio. We will use the current canvas aspect ratio for this generation. In the advanced setting, you can input a C if you want to create consistent images, but we'll skip that for now. Then we'll hit generate to send it to work. The generated results will appear in the result panel and we can hover over them to preview. The one on the right looks promising. It's got the potatoes cascading down in midair, just like I imagined. From here, we can download the image or double click it to send it to the canvas for further editing. Let's freshen up the potatoes by removing some of the sprouts and blemishes. While the layer is selected on the canvas, we can use the AI eraser to erase unwanted areas. Let's use the lasso tool to select the area we want to remove. Once we select the area, on the left, hit Generate to regenerate the selected area, and the result will appear in the result panel. These look much smoother. I think the second one looks great. Let's double click and send it to the canvas. In the layer panel, you'll see the images we just added stack on top of each other. We can toggle the layers to show or hide the layer and see different layers. Next, we want to create cinematic scenes with our actual product in it. For this, let's open the product background tool. If there are any images already on the canvas, we can simply hide these layers for a clean starting point in the layer panel. Now we can upload our product image here. The AI will remove the background automatically and keep only the product from here. And from here, we can generate a new background in the space where the original background was removed. We can then adjust the image size and place the product on the right position. You have three options for background generation using preset templates, custom prompts, or reference images. This time, I'll use the reference image as inspiration to generate the background. If you need more detailed instructions on how to use the product background tool, check out this video here to learn more. Let's upload this reference image. I think it has some great visual impact for a fiery look to emphasize the heat of the potato chips. And here we can describe what we want to see in the background, but this is optional. Once we're ready, we hit generate. These are some really cool results. We can use the blend feature below to adjust how much the background reflects on the package without changing the background itself. Click the number correspond to the image we want to blend. Then we simply adjust the blend slider to find the best results. The more to the right, the more package reflects the environment and vice versa. This one looks great. Let's place the fine tune result on canvas. Now we're ready to animate our images. Let's click on the image to video tool. As the name suggests, we'll be using images to generate our video. 
With this tool, we will describe what we want to create and we will set an image as the starting frame. And if we want more control over the animation, we can also assign an end frame. So the AI will bridge the start and end frame together into a cohesive video. The imagination slider allows you to decide how much creative freedom the AI should have. The more to the right, the more it sticks more closely to your prompt. And the more to the left, it takes more creative liberties. Also, we can choose between a 5 second and a 10 second duration for your video. Let's try to make this image move. The image to video tool will use the image showing as the start frame by default. We can also click to drop our file here or select one from the shown layer in the layer panel. That's why I wanted to send the images we want to use to the canvas so we can easily access them here. For this example, we won't set an end frame here, so we can let the AI freely imagine the animation. Now, the text prompt is key. It's important to input the right prompt to make sure the video behaves exactly how we want. Since we've already had the image to set the scene, we just need to specify what to animate and how to animate it. Here's a simple formula for writing the text prompt. So we have subject plus movement. Basically, we tell the AI what the subject is and how it moves. If we want to describe other elements like the background or camera, we start with the main subject and its movement, and then we describe the background and its movement. And we can also add any camera movement instructions in relation to the subject in the end. For our potato scene, I want to not only see what is in the image, but a continuous stream of potato fallings. So here I have a lot of russet potatoes are falling from the sky and tumbling and rotating in slow motion. I'll leave the imagination slider in the middle for balance. We can adjust it later if the result isn't quite right. For the duration, I think 5 seconds should be enough for this scene. Let's hit generate. The generation process takes around 5 to 10 minutes, and here we got our result. Check this out. The way the potatoes fall looks so natural. Each one spins and rotates in different directions, and you can almost feel the weight as they drop. I think this result is pretty realistic, and we can definitely keep this one. Let's download this one. So one challenge when animating a product image like this is that AI sometimes mistake the design on the package as part of the animation. To prevent this, you can include instructions in the text prompt like keep the package design intact, which sometimes works. Another way to control this is by using the start and end frames feature to make sure that the package design stays consistent throughout the clip. For this, I'll be using the image variations we generated earlier. I think the transition from a more fiery scene to one with a bit of smoke will create a really cool effect. A tip is to select images that share the same scene and setting. If they're too different, there can be a jump cut instead of a smooth transition. Let's select a 5 second duration. And let's hit generate and see if the AI can keep the package consistent and link the frames together smoothly. The result looks really great. The transition from the start frame to the end frame is smooth and the package design stay consistent. We can see that there's a subtle light reflection still visible on the package, and the chips fold down while still getting influenced by the heat behind. It seems like the chips at the end are slightly bigger than the ones at the beginning to smooth the transition, as the chip sizes in the start frame and end frames were too different. Let me try another one with chips that are more consistent in size between the start and end frames. So for this one, in the end, the chips morph a little bit to transition from the start to the final frame, but I really like how the shadows on the back reflect the chips flying by, and the design remain consistent throughout. Also, we can see the flickering fire on the package. It adds a really nice touch to make the whole scene feel pretty realistic. Now we just need to create the remaining scenes using the same method, then bring everything into an editing software to finish the commercial. For this, I'm using CapCut's desktop version. First, let's create a new project and import the footage we generated on design. Next, we can drag the clips onto the timeline in the order we want. We can easily rearrange them by dragging and dropping them to different positions. To edit a specific clip, simply select it, and you'll find more editing options on the top right panel. You can also speed up or slow down some of the clips for them to flow better together. And then I would trim the footage and keep only the portion of the footage I want to keep. We can do that by dragging the front and end of the footage to trim the video. I want to add a white screen with some text to it here. Let's go to import, stock materials, and then search for white screen. 
Then we drag it down to the timeline. Let's add text and we can adjust how it looks on the right panel. Let's also add a logo. To animate any elements, just select it and apply animations using the animation options on the right top panel. Let's add a transition between these clips. You can find plenty of options in the transition section up top. We can also layer in some sound effects like a fire burning for a bit of ASMR effect. And finally, let's add background music to tie everything together. To take it up a notch, let's add a voiceover. For AI voiceover, we are using 11labs.io. Let's log in. And while we're on text to speech, here we can input the script we want for the narration. In here, we can also select the voice that best suits the tone of the commercial. Also, there are plenty of options to choose in Find More Voice. Once you find your voice, click Use to add it to your list, and you can find a voice in your list. I think Bill's voice would work great for the ad. Once we're ready, click Generate Speech. We can access our previous creations in the History tab, where you can listen to and download the audio. Next, let's return to CapCut, add a voiceover to the timeline, and sync it with the scenes to complete the commercial. Once everything is adjusted, and if we're happy with the result, we can hit export to finalize the video. And here's the final product. When golden potatoes meet fiery chilies, a love story begins. Get ready for a flavor explosion. Design super hot potato chips. The cool kind of hot. Warning, may cause uncontrollable snacking. Isn't it cool how easily we can create a commercial like this with the help of AI? Give it a try yourself with the link below and let us know how it goes. Be sure to like and subscribe for more practical AI tutorials just like this one. Happy designing!